Yeah, good afternoon. Things are things are hopping. Uh, tell us well, how they're hopping, because you're the expert on uh, connecting all the dots of all the bad boys. The high-level Masons, the uh, 10 schools, the the direct left and right, uh, what I call demonically energized minions of Satan in politics. Yeah, well, I, what, what the I predator class right of, of Draco, Draco reptilian monstrosities that are running the crazy Democratic uh, witch hunt and the obscenity of the comments by some of the media uh, make me have to take my television anti nausea when I watch even Fox News. Go ahead. Yeah, well, I think what's going on is that uh, uh, Trump and, uh, you know, the, the people that, uh, the good people that elected him, uh, right. he's certainly being taken advantage of and, and, and put on the, on the rack and with his limbs being stretched uh, by the, uh, uh, not the deep, just the deep state of the United States, but the multinationals throughout the world, we've got to understand why the Republicans are confined with their uh, repeated uh, defenses uh, while the so-called uh, uh, stripping away or impeaching of uh, uh, Trump is so, uh, <laughs> uh, so much without content. Uh, there's, there's a ton of content out there, and, and that content includes uh, uh, Kerry and his stepson, uh, Chris uh, Hines. Actually, uh, Kerry married uh, John Hines, who was a member of Skull and Bones' you widow. You're talking about uh, John Kerry, the uh, former vice president, right? Uh, exactly, right. No, he's, you know, he's been Skull and Bones uh, you know, when he was running against uh, yeah, but the uh, Bush uh, Skull and Bones Hines. at one time. You talk about Heinz Corporation owns Heinz Ketchup, et cetera. They're billionaires, right? Yeah, yeah. These these are billionaire, powerful people that have been ensconced for years and years. So right. it's it's not the little puppets we see that you know we're we're told to be mad at the hand puppets. Um, and of course, there's a good reason to be. I mean, we're we're like dogs chasing the uh, uh, the phony rabbit around the track. You know, right. uh, we've we've been trained to to behave in this way. Right. And we have to look beyond, you know, the Pelosi's, you know, which is uh, uh, the four families out of San Francisco. Um, in fact, yeah. that uh, uh, one Chinese uh, epic uh, yeah. let, newspaper. Let, let, let me open there. it up a bit. Let me open it up a bit to sure. get a little Go more ahead. energy here. Uh, yesterday we had on the program uh, Jerry Barrett. Now, I didn't know this until after I called uh, Tex Mars' wife, but Jerry was promoting the book uh, by Tex that just was written. And it actually just got back in November from the printer. It's called Psychopaths Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow. Now, you have to understand that Texas is not only a military and technical scientific genius, but uh, a, uh, basically a, a scriptural uh, analyst that's of the highest order. Unfortunately, on the 25th of November, Tex died. He died of terminal heart failure. And, of course, unfortunately, I tried to offer him help, just like I tell people, whether they're a co-host or they're a person out there in the public, uh, please don't reject. In other words, I want you to know that you need to order your supplements from Dr. Bill. If you want to have many more Christmases and not have a catastrophe, you need to be on Dr. Bill's Nutrimint. Now, I'm a medical empath as well as an investigator, so I can do blood tests. Your doctor doesn't even know exists in the certified labs. But if I had been able to intervene, he would still be alive. Okay? I want you to know that. I told his wife last night when I talked to her because I was completely aghast because I didn't realize when I had Jerry on the show that he'd already died, but his book came out. Now, the reason why I want to say this is because when we look at these people that are running the Democrats, Nadler, Schiff, Pelosi, and so on, they're not only doing evil, they do what they think is good because just like Satan, he does good and evil. People think Satan just does evil. No, 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 no. He has deceived by doing good acts, right? And the Democrats are even trying to take some credit by tweaking the uh, USMC agreement that was put together over a year and a half ago by Trump and his son-in-law, uh, Jared Kushner. Um, we have to understand uh, that psychopaths are a different subclass of humans. They're predator humans. I know how to do a neurological and other tests to actually show who is a predator or a criminal psychopath. Now, 6% of the overall population are psychopaths. They're what we call predator humans. They're not like you know, empathic humans that care about each other. They're predators. They think of other humans as, We're, if, we, if you get my way, I'm going to kill you and eat you. That's their attitude. Unfortunately, when you get in certain areas like in politics or in corporate life, say the big CEOs of corporations and the heads of departments inside the government or the heads of everything, even medical universities or law, you'll find that the percentage of psychopaths is a lot higher. 
It doesn't mean they don't have a high IQ, but they means they're luciferic. These are predator class I call wolves. They're not wolves in sheep clothing, they're wolves in wolf clothing, right? And some of it's really obvious. When you look at people like Nancy Pelosi, she was raised up by the time she was seven, answering the phone for her, her uh, Democratic father. And she was trained to be a psychopath since the time she was spawned, if you want to call it. Now, Nancy Pelosi is also, I have other intel that shows that she's involved with pedophilia and human child sacrifice, okay? So these people are involved with weird stuff. Look at Schiff. He's abusing his gay lover. I mean, I know homosexuals that treat each other nice. In fact, nicer than some so-called normal, so-called straight couples. Okay, so I'm not going to persecute, but he's mean. This guy, poppy-eyed, he obviously has, and I refer to these people as people of clay and iron. That's my ministry. Clay being human flesh, iron being indwelt by transdimensional entities. When you don't have a frontal lobe, the reptilian, Draco reptilian brain takes over called the amygdala. Uh, when you have no executive function to inhibit your bad behavior, even if you're smart or real clever, you're going to predate on everybody else. So the drug cartel people, the billionaires run corporations, look at Blomberg. He's a typical predator class human. Look, look at Beto O'Rourke. Look at all these people that are out there. You know, many Democrats, but also Republicans like, like Romney. These are predator class humans. They lack frontal lobe executive function. They lack spirituality. They lack empathy. And their rage predate on the rest of us. And they're on the left and the right. They're not just, you know, and Trump is, I think, he got some compassion. But he's surrounded by knuckleheads, Draco reptilians on the left and the right, PNAC people, Project for a New American Century, and people that are trying to direct him to do stupid things. Like a year and a half ago, they sent over Tomahawk missiles to, to Iraq, to uh, uh, Bashar al-Assad, saying he killed people with chemical weapons. Well, they knew immediately that there were no signs of chlorine residue that indicating that they did that. But it only came out on Tucker Carlson last week. The reason is the globalists are indwelt by psychopaths. They're psychopaths. They're not normal biologically. I can actually measure imaging studies with a quantitative EEG, organic acids, neurotransmitters. I can tell you even some mitochondrial DNA. Blacks, for example, have 20% chance they're carrying a gene defect to make them ultra-aggressive. Whites is only, and Asians about 2%, which means if you're black and you're put in the rang environment like an inner city, you're far more likely with no daddy to become a violent maniac. Now, on the other hand, because you're aggressive, you become a really good athlete. So if you're properly shepherded, that aggressiveness and drive can be turned into something good. But otherwise, it turns into something really bad. You become a predator, predator class human. So what do you think? Pretty interesting, hey? Well, you're right about some of these people, you know, that they, they live off of. Uh, breaking they live off our up. bones. Romney's they... organization is the Bain Corporation, which goes around and you know takes down companies and sells the remnants. Mm -hmm. Or which uh, one are you referring to? Because that's the one that did that uh, to that town in Nebraska. They had Kabilis in. Remember that? I think it was yeah. last year. And uh, but but the uh, the people at the very top, uh, they, you know, they truly believe they are the the royalty and the hierarchy and the cream of the crop. But the people that they train, you know, they've But, but they're actually not the cream of the crop, they're the scum on top. Do you like that? They're not the right. cream of the crop, they're the scum on top. Yeah. <laughs> that's, well, that's what they are, but they think they're the, you know, they're the cream. And uh, every, anything that happens underneath them, uh, whatever happens has to be uh, confined of sorts. Well, it's justified. It, so it's that justified. they can let me, separate let me, and use, use the powers against each other. It's, uh, they, it, it's, well, uh, it's like, called it's like creating a, uh, like a pharmacist creating a shelf full of uh, uh, drugs. And each one of those drugs, they want to keep it as pure and reactive to how they've trained it to behave. So they'll, they'll use a hardcore fundamentalist like a Hagee out of Texas or uh, right. uh, you know, a, a, you know, a, a more liberal group like the Unitarians. And you can find that, you know, these same... Uh, people part of the uh, conspiracy at the very head. Right. William Howard Taft was the head of the Unitarian Association. Right. Hill Allen Dallas ran the uh, World Council of Churches. So uh, they inculcate us, and we all think we're doing good when we go to our, you know, our our Catholic church or Lutheran church or wherever we're going, and we we presume because everything's put in such uh, flowery, nice language, and you know, God knows we're all sinners. So <laughs> right. we usually have something to. Uh, repent or make amends or uh, deal with. So uh, it's a uh, um, it's almost like going into a uh, okay. You know, now, for now, some people, it'd be like going some to a confessional and reporting, uh, you know, 
to the higher uh, ups uh, uh, what's going uh, on in your mind, and Gary, then they set you straight. Gary, let me give you some perspective so that we, we we kind of focus in here. Right now, today, I think they're trying to close off so they can get a vote in the House uh, for impeachment. There's no evidence that there was any kind of quid pro quo. None. They're doing this because they know, as Al Green said, if they don't impeach him, he's going to get reelected. Now, you understand it's not just the left. There's rhino Republicans backstabbing Trump, too. Some of them just left office. Some of them are behind the scenes trying to backstab him. And the media is nuts. Even in Fox News, they have hosts on there. They're asking questions and bringing on Democrats that are amazing. Like, why are you letting these people speak? Because they're speaking blather, the kind of stuff that's so mentally ill that if they were in a, coming in an intake in a psychiatric facility, we'd be shipping them off to a padded room with a posy jacket on and an antipsychotic and their right butt cheek. I mean, you got to understand here that allowing crazy people to talk is not a good thing. For example, I heard one Democrat there while I was watching Fox this morning suggesting that they should have a Senate uh, trial. No, they don't. There's no evidence whatsoever that there's even a crime. So why are you having a tri trial when there's no crime? So dragging this out actually is to damage Trump. You know, that's why Bob Berger is going in. It's not because he wants to win the election. It's because he wants to damage Trump that they he loses to election whoever becomes a candidate. Even Hillary Clinton, she says she's going to run again. I mean, literally, you got to understand who Hillary is. Hillary is the descendant of a raw, of a, what's called the Rodams, R-H-O-D-A-M. They're wizards going back in England over 500 years plus. These people cursed her, their daughter, with a Draco reptilian ceremony where they ate the heart of a child over an obsidian altar and they were doing the eyes wide shut ceremony. you got to understand this, people who say, oh, Dr. Nico, you're making it up. No, I'm not making the damn thing up. One of the first things I saw as a fourth year medical student was at the Point Pleasant Park in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And I was a, a new medical student in fourth year, and I had to come in the emergency department at the Victoria General Hospital. And I said, Dr. Diggle, you got to pronounce this guy dead. I looked at him. He had no eyes. He had no tongue. He had no heart. He had been gouged out of his chest. And he had his naughty bits, as they say in uh, Pawnee Python, removed. He had no sexual organs. I said, you're asking me to tell us if this guy's dead and he has no heart, no eyes, no tongue? You're crazy. And then I found out that this guy was hung on wires, piano wires, from a, in a ceremony, a Luciferic ceremony in Point Pleasant by a bunch of witches. Now, you might think this is just an anomaly. It happens to odd places. This is Halifax, Nova Scotia. No, no. You have to understand, in Scotland, where they've got 6 million citizens, and I talked to, to, uh, to one of our people in Scotland who's been listening to the show for 14 years, he said, no, no, he actually was a minister, a uh, sub-minister with Benny Hinn years ago. And he told us, his name is Tom in Scotland. He told us, he said, you know, of the 6,000 million people in Scotland, we've got 2,100 lodges. Now, you have to understand, all, not just some, Masons do good and evil. And a lot of them are told they're at the highest level, like you're, you're reached the, uh, you know, such and such a level, you're at the 17th level, you're at the 30th level, you're at the 11th level of elevation. I personally interviewed and treated and released from bondage Bill Schneblin that was a 90th degree Mason. There's nobody on the earth that knows more about high level masonry and talks about it publicly than I do. And not revealed by man, but by God. And I had interaction, you wouldn't believe the stuff that I know. Okay, and I'm not going to tell you everything because if you're not saved, when you hear what I know, you'd kill yourself. I'm not evil and want to make you be willing to die. But I want you to understand this. And I had one guy who was responding to me last night when I had uh, our guest on, Jerry Barrett. And he said, why do you let your guest speak? You, saying that out there, need to shut up and listen when I'm telling you stuff that's going to save your physical hide and your nation and your soul. Because we're really close to disaster. I have evidence now that in 2020, they're going to start introducing the market of the beast and shipping to population, putting cameras everywhere. Across every state line, every country on earth, and introducing the Matrix. Did you know that? Next year, they're starting to introduce and bring about the actual Mark of the Beast in the Matrix. Damn yeah, it. Well, pe you know, people can see uh, you know, for themselves. You can still root out. October uh, 1st totally is a deadline. All these sites to, to, to chase. But right. just look up such things as uh, spirit cooking where people are celebrating. Well, they sit around in tables and they have people... Uh, People's heads poking out between the plates as if, uh, uh, right. you know. 
Do you have difficulty taking supplements? Are you searching for a high-quality, complete nutritional drink that your whole family will love? Nutramedical's Life Support has arrived. All of your daily nutritional requirements in one quick, delicious drink. Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support is a proprietary blend of vegan protein, activated vitamins, essential minerals, amino acids, probiotics, green tea, digestive enzymes, anti-inflammatories, cancer prevention, detoxification, and much more. Your body will high-five you for this one. Life Support is the best complete nutritious meal replacement on the market. Whether you are an elite athlete, have post-operative challenges, chronic illness, elderly, or a family that just wants a quick, delicious drink, try Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support for optimized nutrition in one great-tasting smoothie. Just add cold water, almond milk, fruit, or anything else you like. Nutramedical's Life Support. Try our great-tasting chocolate or vanilla today. Call 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Nutramedical.com for the whole family. Legacy Emergency Foods is the top recommendation from Dr. Bill Deagle for the lowest oxygen concentration, the largest entrees, the highest amount of protein, the most varied entrees as well, and the longest food storage life. Nothing like Legacy Emergency Foods, and if you place a regular monthly order, you get 20% off and free shipping. Do get emergency foods for your supply for preparation and get it from Legacy Foods. Contact Dr. Bill Deagle for the link at Nutramedical.com. Go to the Shop by Products link and drop down message at Nutramedical.com and then place your orders for regular emergency food for yourself and your family. Nothing like emergency food if the power goes out and you can't go to grocery stores or if there's an emergency or a national crisis. So Nutramedical.com, top recommendation, Legacy Foods. Nutramedical.com, go to the Shop by Products and drop down menu and stay well with Nutramedical every day of your life. Lumen Photon Therapy, infrared light, far and near infrared, is extremely important for pain control, simulation of nitric oxide, improved perfusion, and stem cell activation and reduction of cytokines. Dr. Bill uses it for pain control, for regeneration techniques, for organ regeneration, and for stimulation of your stem cell activity. Uh, this amazing uh, Lumen Photon Therapy this year will probably have an additional device with frequency therapy during the on phase of the lights. To obtain a Lumen Photon machine, contact Dr. Bill at Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871. He'll prescribe it with you, providing nutraceuticals to help with your regeneration, healing, and pain control. Nothing like the Lumen Photon Therapy for uh, easy therapy for your eyes, your pain, your joints, regeneration of organs, detoxification of the body. Get a Lumen Photon machine from Dr. Bill Deagle, Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871. To stay well with Nutramedical. The Sonic Life Machine is one of the most amazing therapies that Dr. Bell provides. It is the best sine wave exercise machine on the planet, doing whole body vibration, opening up the muscle to reduce insulin resistance, improve perfusion, release stem cell therapies throughout the body, and epigenetically stimulate the body to release DNA activated. Uh, the epigenetic therapy with the uh, sine wave curve of frequencies given for atomic resonance by Linus Pauling for minerals and amino acids stimulates the production of messenger RNA to correct structural protein enzyme deficiency for almost every illness. There's nothing like the sine wave therapy for improving body healing for exercise, but also the epigenetic treatments Dr. Bell can provide can help neutralize frequencies for disease states and illness. Get a Sonic Life machine through Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com. Contact us at Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871, or go to the website Nutramedical and give us a contact. Dr. Bill is available to help you get well with Nutramedical. Need a powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens? Allison Med is the powerful universal pathogen killer's latest advance of German-sourced Allison, enzymatically stabilized to clear the body of bacteria, fungi, mycobacteria, and parasites. It penetrates body biofilms and is non-toxic to tissues. Pathogen resistance cannot develop for long-term body-optimized wellness. Clear stealth pathogens that promote autoimmune disease, cancer, and vascular inflammation and plaque and promote healing of tissues. Now pathogen-free. With 200 milligrams more power than prior Alamed, you can't get a more powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens. Give your body what it needs. Allison Med. Order Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutridine at 888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. That's 1-888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. And listen to the Nutramedical Report on the Genesis Radio Network with open lines every weekday. Nutramedical.com, bringing nutrition and medicine together.
amazing. It's way better than Drudge. Some of the main articles going on today, you know, if you look at the main. Uh, Justice Watchdog testifies on surveillance of Trump campaign. Uh, that is uh, our guy Horowitz. Hong Kongers launch new protest front with their wallets. Congress racing clock to reach a compromise on federal spending. Of course, they've just got an extension there. <clears throat> Special Ops border agent and his K-9 become super trackers in the Arizona desert. Impeachment heads to the House vote, but rules change in the Senate. And uh, I'd like you to comment on some of these things, because I, I personally don't think it needs to go to the Senate. If it does, it should be an open and closed shot case, and they should vote immediately and just shut it down. I don't think getting into a long, prolonged harangue over this is useful because it's all designed to just damage Trump from foolishness and lies because they're afraid that if people look at the economic benefits and the things that he's doing right, he's doing a few things wrong, but those can be corrected with some dialogue. Uh, Trump is against the New World Order on the right and the left, and that's why these maniacs will do anything in their Luciferic cabal to, to bring Trump down and to not only bring Trump to bring the representative government and our constitutional republic down and have us eventually surrender to world government. That's what they want, isn't it? Surrender exactly. to world government. Yeah, that, that, that's the overall goal, and that's where they're heading. <clears throat> but over that again, too, are the Georgia Guidestones and the, and the monsters. Uh, uh, yeah, the World Watch Genocide Institute, which you get every January. Right, and the World Watch Institute every January. Council on Foreign Relations, journal called Foreign Affairs. They have to hoodwink. They have to tell you straight up. In fact, you know what I found out from some of my people that are in contact with the high-level Masons? They think I'm a white hat, and they don't attack me because if they didn't have me, they'd have to create somebody like me to, to literally hoodwink and tell people the truth of what's going on so that when people reject me, they deserve to be destroyed. That's what they do in hoodwinking. Do you know that? I'm thinking, you know, so when I hear this moron last night saying, shut up and let your ghost talk, you shut up, person. You need to pray, put your not your knees on the ground, but your nose on the ground, and smarten up and pray and ask God, is this guy telling the truth or lying? Because I don't expect you to absorb anything I say. But if God says yes, no, in the arm, some of those your soul, damn it, shut up and take action. Stop trying to attack the messenger when I'm bringing grace to save your hide physically with health. That's why you need to get all your nutrients from here. You need to get support our ministry by buying nutrients as gifts for your people, not just blather from Amazon and whatever. And you need to make sure that you understand that I can rescue you and your relatives from cancer, heart disease, heart failure. I tried for years to try to help Tex, and he wouldn't even tell me all the things I could tell what was going on with him. And he died of heart failure, and I could have rescued him. I have a gentleman I've had on my show here in the last uh, six months. A year and a half ago, he was dying in hospital in Oak Ridge, Illinois, and I took over from the ICU. And then two months afterward, he's walking at 12,000 feet without oxygen, and it's totally healthy. He's now on a tour of the southern uh, South America and a cruise line, needing no oxygen or any special cardiac drugs, just my supplements, okay? So you got to understand here, if you think you're smarter than Deagle, come into my cage, moron, and get a, a intellectual beating of your life. If you think I'm nice, you're an idiot. I'm not nice. I'm here to save your hide. I'm like an EMT that has to grab you when you're trying to pull a face mask off me so I'll suck in the smoke that's killing you, and you have to listen. So when I go on a rant, you have to be damn well shut up and listen instead of thinking, well, I want him to shut up so I can be entertained. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm here to shock you, Kate, you. I'm going to shock you with the truth so you smarten up and realize this is the end of civilization for mankind. This is the big show. This is not a rehearsal. This is the end of the game, isn't it? Well, I, th I think one of the important things you, you drew attention to is ep Epic Times. Uh, they have a right. chart that shows the family tree uh, between Pelosi and uh, Newsom and, uh, you know, the whole uh, crowd out of San Francisco, which is really right. important to understand, because right. that's the source. That's where the Commonwealth Club and Bohemian Grove and Jim Jones and all this. She's, uh, she's a, uh, a pedophile and a child and, sacrificer. Uh, she's, uh, she's involved with Pedagate. The woman is a freaking witch, <clears throat> just like Hillary Clinton. Her coven is in Los Angeles. These people are evil. Now, I pray for them. And it says, Lord, it says in Psalms, if you pray for those who do evil, I'll take their foot off your neck. You don't understand this, people. And if you get somebody like me who is called as a prophet and apostle, you got to shut up and listen because the most vile crime you can do is to cut off and spit on the one bringing grace and wisdom to you to save your hide. So you out there realize the greatest sin you can do against the creator is to try to shut up or kill 
the word of the prophet calling to save your butt. So shut up. What do you think of that? Well, this is, you know, the Bohemian Groves where that 60-foot owl sits, and the uh, local Catholic church takes money from uh, Bohemian Grove for their little additions and stuff. So they're quiet right. while these people annually uh, carry on incredible, you know, right, and a giant uh, owl sexual course is the owl of perversion the there, but they also, they burn children to cremation of care. It's the name of their, right. their sacrament. They're, they're burning children in effigy at the very right. minimum. So. Right. Uh, again, this is where they don't want to go. They've, the Republicans are keeping quiet because they don't. Well, want the to. Republican criminals and, never, and every, look, even George Bush Senior said that Bill Clinton and George Bush Junior are brothers. These figures are on one level creating conflict. Like even look, the Democrats right now fighting some of the Rhino Republicans. They do it for public consumption. Do you see anybody wearing orange or going to prison or being executed? No, no. In a third world country, these people would already be executed in a military tribunal, wouldn't they? Well, we've gone over enough about Paul Ryan and his relationship to uh, David Boron, Skull and Bones, that actually trains people uh, for the Department of, you know, the FBI and uh, the Department of Justice, etc. Now, remember, Kevin McCarthy, a member of the Rippon Society, which people out there ought to start knowing by now because we'll keep repeating it, was formed the day Kennedy was killed, November 22nd, by Nelson Rockefeller. And Kevin McGate, Kevin Gate, Kevin, Mc, Kevin McCarthy, sorry, folks, <laughs> Kevin McCarthy was appointed by Paul Ryan to take his place as the, you know, the, the whipmaster of the majority and minority of the Republicans. Kevin McCarthy is a member of the Ripon Society. When you look at the uh, Mitch McConnell, now Mitch McConnell is, is, is the head of the Senate. Uh, his wife, Chao, his sister, is on the board of directors of the largest shipbuilding company. Uh, it, it, the fact that ships are so large they can't transit the, the Suez Canal. But uh, uh, the Chao family uh, had ordered a number of large you know, cargo ships, and, of course, these are the main ones that are carrying the uh, goods from Red China to your local drug and department store so that there's nothing made in America. Right. So, uh, and by the McConnell way, you have to understand that they hands, uh, that, dripping in, in in the same types of treason that. Uh, well, let, let me insert uh, Hunter, some facts that, here. That Hunter Biden did. Gary, Gary, stop. I want to insert a fact here, and I just have a story that's on today's uh, Epic Times, and it says exclusive inside Huawei, Canada, Canada, wolf culture and alleged discrimination. Now you got to. I want to read a little bit so you get an idea of just how predator they are against nations that think they're going to control. Things fell apart between Huawei, this big freaking tech company, and the Canadian government, Ottawa. Because Canadians are, you know, they appear to be more passive than Americans. You push them far enough, and they're just as aggressive as Americans, okay? When Meng Wa, was Hao, the Huawei executive at the center of the diplomatic row between China and Canada, visited the Toronto office of the Chinese telecom giant in 2016, she talked from local managers is that she didn't like seeing so many Chinese faces in the office. These are Canadian Chinese that believe in democracy, okay? Meng, whose high-profile arrest in December 2018 stated a downward spiral in relations between Beijing and Ottawa, was one of the founding directors of Huawei's offices in Canada and had a mission to establish a Canadian foothold on the controversial company founded by her father, Ren Zhengfei, a former officer in the Chinese People's Republic and Liberation Army. Since Meng's arrest, China has arrested Canadian citizens Michael Kovrig and Michael Sparvar and sentenced two other Canadians, Robert Schellenberg and Fan Wei, to death on drug smuggling charges and block Canadian agricultural imports. The Epic Times spoke with former employees of Huawei's Canadian headquarters who alleged discriminatory practices such as getting rid of employees 35 and older required participation of so-called Chinese Communist Party, CCP, study sessions for expatriate employees, and the open promotion of wolf culture in the company. Wow. I mean, you got to understand this. China is a predatory nation. They're led by maniacs, and they're led by the way, the globalists. Do you know that WhatsApp, which is a Google company, is collaborating with the communist Chinese to rate their own citizens? So they have 13 and a half million under citizens now. Can't get a job, can't go on a plane or train, or even get health care or drug if they're sick. Did you know that? Now, if you do anything that ticks off the Chinese, they have 20,000 Lao Dai prison camps, and the first thing they do is tissue type you, and they put you in a database that's tied back to 
SAD, Special Activity Division of the CAA, so that if your organs come up, they kill you, put a bullet in the back of your head on an airport, ship your organs off with, a, with one of these thermal packs uh, to Europe or America like Emory University. You don't believe me? Believe me, they're all tied together. And at the top, these buggers are all collaborating, including the Chinese. People know on one level they fight us, on the other level they're collaborating with the devils at the top, aren't they? Right. Well, one thing I, I noticed yesterday at the, at the hearings, the guy was talking about, the Republican was talking about <clears throat> Dianne Feinstein's uh, cabbie or driver. So the Republicans right. don't have it up to date. We showed pictures on your, on your program there of, right. of this uh, Lou. Well, we, we, I have uh, the that, pictures, but uh, we, we, we need to do a video of it. So that's years. one of the things I would, what I want to do after the show today is I'd like to do a video going to some of those pictures. I mean, uh, we can just go to your website, open it up, the can of worms, because you have a lot of pictures and charts on your site. I noticed that. News-expose.org. N-E-W-S-E-X-P-O-S-E. Org. And when you go there, you don't only get dialogue and documentation, you get pictures, man. The pictures are worth a thousand words and charts that connect all these buggers. This is unbelievable. People say, oh, you're making it up to conspiracy theory. What the hell? Honest to God, when you got a crime and somebody's got a video camera on their criminal coming into the, saw the fast food store and he doesn't have a mask on and you caught him or the mask got whipped off him and you got a picture of him and you know him and you even got his DNA because he maybe scuffed himself or bled on the, on the desk where he stole stuff, cut himself, and you want to still dispute it, you need to smarten up people realize that the New World Order doesn't even care about covering up their evidence anymore. They're so far along in this game, they could care less. In fact, one of the comments that I want to read here, and I want people to understand this, I, had, I did a video two days ago with uh, Greg Ford, and Greg will be back on next week, but listen to this. And I'll, I'll just summarize. Because let me see if I can pull up the actual uh, comment here. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think I found it. Let's see. Uh, oh no, that's not the one. I'm looking at a different comment. Okay, you know, people need to realize I had I, I made a comment with Greg Ford and talked about the fact when I traveled to Portland, Oregon, I gave prophecies to each town I traveled to, 42 cities in Israel. And when I got to Portland, I saw two visions before I arrived there. So I told the people what my visions were. The first was an Indian maiden wrapped up in buckskins and thrown in after some drum ceremony down the volcanic maw of the open volcano of Mount Hood. Okay, not good. And the second one was I saw rail workers, uh, welders welding in shackles in a new a false floor in old cattle cars getting ready to transport humans to civil detention camps for either retraining or execution. Okay. Now, after I did that, let me see if I can pull up this uh, this interesting little dialogue here, because people need to start grasping here. Dr. Deagle's not making this up. You wish. You wish I was making it up, right? But I'm not. There we are. Let's see if I can open this up here. I want to read this to you, because it, it was an interesting comment made here. I, I, here, I think I found it. Okay. This is a gentleman here. Uh, he goes by Melod... Millard Eyes Life, okay, one day ago, and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, show the whole thing. He says, <clears throat> yeah, people say, oh, no, roughly 10 years ago, I was on an Amtrak train and had a very long conversation with a man in the uh, dining cart who was chugging alcohol constantly and crying profusely. I finally agreed, uh, uh, asked him what was his wrong, and he told me he had spent a month in North Dakota welding shackles into white train cars with no windows but small slits that were being made for people. He told me they invited him to stay. Okay, let me see where the rest of this little dialogue is here. Ah, uh, what are they doing here? Okay, I wanted to read more. It's a stay longer because he managed to weld 40000 in in the month. He refused to stay and claimed he really needed money for his family and felt guilty as he can, as, as can knowing he may have been welding his own shackles. Jacob paid 20000 for the month, allegedly. Wow. Well, the job, job, basically. Um, I asked him how many welders were on, on site, the site, and he said hundreds, welding anywhere uh, from twenty to 40000 a month. He said it was a multi-month project, and he answered the ad on Craigslist. When I lived in Eugene, Oregon, right, I would see those train cars parked by the hundreds going over for miles right out of the River Road station area. 
used to joke with others that those are our future concentration camp guards. Then this happened. Many of us complained quite often and eventually they were went away and did not see them again while living there. Guess what? Two men stood up in the audience after I gave the prophecy and said we were welding today at, at a welding house in Portland, Oregon doing the same thing, okay, 21 years ago. Are you still looking for that one iodine that you can really trust? A medical doctor endorsed product that is backed by honest research and true integrative science. Then search no further. Go to NutraMedical.com for Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutriodine, proven time and time again to be the very best iodine available for you. Nutriodine is the only Tesla-activated monatomic plasma iodine in the world. It optimizes mitochondrial function and generation of new mitochondria from totally neutral Neutralizing the venom from a desert recluse spider bite in Southern California to eliminating malaria parasites reported by medical missionaries in Central India. Dr. Bill's Nutriodine is simply the most powerful healing formula there is. Nutriodine clears the body of all known pathogens, restores it to an alkaline state, and even promotes stem cell regeneration. Order Dr. Bill's Nutriodine today at 888 212 8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Red Deer Velvet, DR, is an amazing new product with a patent to preserve 300 biomolecules and six hormones, same as fetal life, where you don't age at all. The state of fetal life allows the 300 biomolecules and six hormones produced by the placenta to be supportive of the regeneration of tissues and organs with maximum apoptosis uh, changing the tissue and organ structure of a fetus. That's why if fetal surgery is performed, there is no scar. Taking uh, two to three capsules twice a day with oncomycin, myco D2, uh, provides an amazing support for regeneration of any tissue and organ in the body and even advanced stem cell therapy support treatment. Do uh, get Nutramedical's Red Deer Velvet DR from Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com, NUTRIMedical.com, 888-212-8871. Stay well and stay young with Nutramedical. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Deagle, MD, AAEM, ACAM, A4M of Nutramedical.com and a consultant providing email advice free on advanced protocols for your optimized wellness and advanced technologies to heal and regenerate you. You can contact us at Nutramedical.com, that's N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com, or 888-212-8871. You get free email starter protocols of our top medical-grade nutraceuticals, initial testing and recommendations for your own primary doctor to do, as well as recommendations to give you an idea of a consultation and a full protocol to try to help you regenerate your tissues, heal naturally without the use of toxic polypharmacy. I can send test kits to you as well anywhere in the world and provide you recommendations for referral of specialty clinics worldwide. So contact me, Dr. Bill Deagle, at Nutramedical.com. That's N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com or 888-212-8871. At Nutramedical.com, we have the most amazing drinks with the best mouthfeel, highest quality bionutrient uh, exposure to your body to heal and regenerate, and the uh, most powerful persistence of nutrients to heal your body dramatically. We have Ageless, which makes you age less, which repairs your DNA, extends your telomeres, etc. We have Life Support that detoxes phase 2 detox pathways, glucuronidation, sulfation, and methylation pathways support. We have glycemics that blocks the carbohydrate absorption and helps with diabetes or weight loss and as well helps with people that are trying to build up muscle using things like our um, special formulas from Dr. Wolf called Mega Muscles Between Meals along with Sports Energy Light. We have the amazing Nutri Complete, the most complete red and greens drink in the world with the best mouthfeel and flavor. You can often mix it too with Vitamin Mineral Mix, which is our fruit flavored mixed power of vitamin minerals. Stay well with Nutramedical every day. Uh, the actual birth date of Jesus was on Tabernacles. If you look at the birth date of John the Baptist, it's exactly six months opposite according to Scripture, which means God tabernacled with us in the Feast of Tabernacles. So talk about your political issues that we're going on right now. 
Well, again, the political issues are, are, are these uh, the, the Republicans, while people may applaud them, uh, they're minimizing what's what's going on. I mean, Diane Feinstein and her husband and her contracts with communist China, uh, Mitch McConnell uh, involved with their you know their their military and building uh, ships. Um, you look at uh, uh, well, Michelle Obama. She used to work for uh, Valerie Jarrett the, uh, as the she was the Valerie Jarrett was the chief of staff for Mayor Daley. And there's a whole chapter in Peter Schweitzer's uh, book um, uh, talking about, uh, you know, the Chicago Chicago group. It's, his book is called Secret Empires, and he talks about the numerous deals with communist China and Russia. And in the West at the same time, we have our, you know, uh, former CIA head and Department of Defense, uh, Leon Panetta, sending him military and policy information. So, uh, you know, the so-called enemy of China and the the, the fact that all of these ropes could be thrown around the Democrats' necks right now during this right. debate, not one of them brings it up. Not one Republican opposed Leon Panetta's appointment to the uh, CIA. Mm. So uh, not Repu- one Republican U.S. senator. So, right. You know, there, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> pressure plus ignorance uh, plus purging that's done. You know, how, how about keep, gutlessness? Keep how about that? Them. See? Let me tell you a lesson out there if you're listening now. Number one, don't silence those who are speaking truth to, to power. That's us. I say, stop talking, let your guests talk. Number two, you have to be not afraid of dying if you do and act on the truth. If you're afraid of dying, get out of the way. Stop thinking you're in the battlefield because you're not. And ultimately, if you're even put your soul on the line like I did when I came back from heaven when I was eight and a half God says you know what when you fall I'll pick your carcass up and shake you so you have to understand God has a purpose for us but if we don't submit to his will we can't do any good now people understand the high level masons do good works and evil they'll do whatever they need to get to, to get their agenda whether it's sell technology to China and Russia uh, get the nuclear technology, hand them over supercomputers. It doesn't matter. If they have an objective of bringing us to the new world order and having us surrender to world government, they'll do whatever they will, whether it's on the left or the right. And they may call it things like communism and socialism on the left or totalitarian corporatism on the right. We don't have capitalism. Capitalism means if a guy is a welder or a tech guy working in a small company and he has something in his garage that's really cool and he wants to get funding so he can make a hundred or a thousand of them and sell them and start a small business, he can't get that funding. Okay. Well, let, let, listen well, to this. This is out of the heart of World War II. We're talking the Time Magazine, November sixteenth, nineteen forty-two. This is John Foster Dulles, who was a founder of the Council on Foreign Relations, of which you right. know we've, they're, they're, they pepper the uh, legislature and the cabinet and so forth. Right. He says uh, the conference's most important assertion was that many of the duties now performed by local and national governments quote can now be effectively carried out only by international authority and individual nations that declared it must give up its armed forces except for the preservation of domestic order and allow the world to be policed by international army and navy with teeth uh, well, regulation stop for a second. Stop. of international stop. trade and population <laughs> movements among nations is up to Gary, stop the world for a second. government in, in, 19, uh, in 1994 and 1995 when I took care of special forces in Delta we knew about specific operations of United Nations forces from countries all over the world, from Germany to God knows where, in the mountains of Colorado, operating with full armor and weapons. Did you know that? Did you know that when they thought it was a Macondo drill site, which was like, what, seven, eight years ago, in the Gulf of Mexico off Louisiana, they moved the United Nations equipment another 100 miles in because they thought they were going to get a methane hydrate surge-induced tsunami. So they moved the UN equipment 100 miles in so it wouldn't get destroyed by the tsunami. People need to understand they have foreign United Nations troops. Do you know how many troops they have from the UN in Cuba? A quarter million. What the hell are they doing with a quarter million UN troops doing military operations in Cuba for? Because they're ready to invade Florida and America. If you no, think we, I'm making we, this we, up, we need a, uh, you know, a parallel separate organization to get the UN out of the US and the US out of the UN. I, you know, Elizabeth Warren this last week, uh, she she advocated uh, uh, forgiving Juliet and Ethel Rosenberg, the atomic spies, 
uh, you know, to, to give them back their name. When actually it was the, uh, what, Venona papers that came out after the Soviet Union fell, they were a hardcore KGB. Uh, but the press at that time was lying like it is this time uh, and, and had liberals confused. I remember members of my family thinking that they were framed. It turns out that a, a man by the name of Weinstein, I uh, used to drive him around, and he, he brags about it. He put together a, a newspaper out of Chicago called In These Times. That paper now sits in Santa Cruz called The Good Times, and in San Luis Obispo it's called Something Else Times. And these are the same people are related with Obama. And here we had Michelle Obama working for Valerie Jarrett with Mayor right. Daley cutting deals with Red China and Russia. I mean, none of right. these people are working for you and me. They're working for the globalists and the communists. Well, and the communists are, you know, they're not against the banking establishment. They're a tool of the banking establishment. They're, they're a tool, just like Islam is a tool of them, too. Let me read one of the quotes at the top of your news items. News that expose says, Fiona Hill, deep state mole. Now, I saw the morons today on Fox News saying, oh, we need an investigation. And when I heard Fiona Hill, Fiona Hill is an operative of George Soros, people. Wake up. Deep State Mole, Atlantic Council, Pilgrim Society. Name of the Well, the other thing that should be done immediately, there should be no dual citizens. They, you know, they get to choose one country or the other. No dual citizens can vote or occupy any office in the United States of America. Period. I agree. But also, no circulating between government and industry. If we stop the magic that we call the, the musical chair game, we would stop the district of criminals lobbying inside government for contracts. We yeah, also no, want to stop billionaires the buying the election. In fact, right? In fact, this last week, I went to a, a city council meeting. I was hoping to get out of there real quick, but they, you know, they're changing mayors. The city manager was the one totally in control. These are merely puppets. It's supposed to be a right. nonpartisan office, but they all are part of a, a political machine. In fact, right. the city manager uh, brings out uh, 40 kids that he put under a educational, a government educational program using taxpayers' money, and you, you know they're just full of global loan until it's coming out of their ears. Where the right. hell does the city manager get the right to prepare his, you know, uh, right. his designee people that are going to administrate everything? Like right. it said, you know, all the many duties now performed by local and national government will be carried out uh, only by international authority, quote unquote, and that's from Time Magazine, November 16th, 1942, by a founder of the Council on right. Foreign Relations. Harvey Firestone was at the meeting. A lot of people from Yale and, you know, uh, seminary heads and, and all these church groups. And you're being, you know, global only <laughs> yourself into group think. You're being pushed into one side or the other, and we all think we're right. you got to right. get out of that system somehow. And, uh, you know. Uh, well, I, I want to add a comment here. Uh, Graham's got it right here. He says, you know, uh, I don't need any witnesses, Graham vows, for a quick end of the Senate impeachment. Yeah, end it quickly. The longer you prolong this agony, the more damage it's going to try to do to bring up something that's going to make people think there's some kind of guilt with Trump. There's none, okay? Yeah, well, that's now, Lindsey Trump has Graham. His problems. Uh, you know, you remember where he came from. I mean, you know, he's, he's a McCain clone. And Mitch McConnell, he, you know, I mean, he's yeah, he got is, him dead to rights yeah, in the well, book. Well, there's go out and get it, secret empires. Uh, uh, Gary, let me, let me finish here. It's important to understand that everybody's got a red line, even people are doing bad things. And that's why I have people inside the intel agencies that'll do so many things. For example, I'll give you to use an analogy. They'll kill someone in a foreign country of a different skin color in a war, but they won't kill their relatives or their fellow citizens. Or they won't kill their mama, okay? So you gotta understand, even people like Graham understand, if you don't end up with a quick end to this, you can end up losing the House, the Senate, and the presidency. And the pain that he personally will suffer, as well as all the citizens of America, will be unbelievable. Because they want to be in pain, they want to collapse the economy, they want to want to set EMP protection against the power grid collapsing, and if it does, we'll die of four things. Hypothermia, starvation, cannibalism, and violence. How's that? Yeah. Now, I have documents from over 20 years ago from Australia, New Zealand, and America. It was for Canada, Australia, and, and America. And these documents say that if the power goes out alone, nothing else, no plagues, no war, no invasion, 90% of the population should be dead in six months, just from a power outage. So you've got to understand here, people, 
We're not even talking about biological weapons, nuclear attacks, and anything, just the power going out. So this is all designed to make sure America succumbs to a new world order. And the next the plan is the next thing is to start instituting the control matrix by switching to a cashless system next year and having a biometric ID that tracks you everywhere. If there's a movie series now on on Amazon called The Feed, F E E D, and it's talking about a brain chip so you can start having conjoint dreams with your friends or relative a thousand miles away through the supernet. People need to realize what's going on here. They want us to enter the matrix so they have cybernetic tracking of us. They have our carcass down to a, a cubic meter. They know what we want to buy and sell. They can even know the intentions of our thoughts and even have bidirectional access to our brains. Do you not understand this, people? This is not a game. This is not Deagle's theory. This is right in your face now, isn't it? Yeah, we're, we're up against it. Uh, right now in Santa Cruz, last uh, supervisor's meeting I went to, uh, they have a, a program that's funded by the county uh, to allow, you know, lesbians and homosexuals or any uh, and one, by the way, any, any couple of 51 different uh, uh, well, sexual orientations Let me, let me, to let me insert a comment here, Gary, before we go. Uh, you need to purchase our supplements to support what we're doing, Okay. And these supplements can actually block the toxic effects of radiation, mineral depletion, and vaccines, and so on. They're frying your brains. The young people, their IQ is dropping seven points each decade, last two decades. 26 to 30% of them are sterile. They're not as smart as you and I at our age. You know that? I, it yeah, makes me yeah, sick no, it, to realize that there are no young people with IQs hardly over 170. They're just not there. And you listen to them, and I'm thinking they're desperate because they've got bills to their eyeballs so they can't leave mama and daddy's home. Something like 60% of males over 35 or 35 are still at home because they can't afford to move out. They can't afford to have a family. And in Japan, they call this predatory uh, things because now 40% of the corporations now don't give uh, income security. And the females there, because they're making more than males, will not marry a man that makes less money than them. Did you know that? So they're still spinsters at 40 and 45. Their population's collapsing. No, that's, that's and they're trying to use social media thing. and everything to connect. Guess what? They're, they're, the vast majority of females now, they're in tech and so on, and they're in the late 30s and 40s. They're never going to get married because they're never going to find a man that makes more money than them. And the one guy that does, there's like 20 women converging on the poor character trying to get him because he makes more money than them. It doesn't matter if he's better looking or whatever. As long as he makes more money, he's their guy. Well, That's part of the what's going on in Japan. They killed JFK. It was to get Johnson in there and build that welfare state that uh, destroyed the right. black people. And, you know, actually all the people. But, well, they uh, want all of us in a welfare state. Hit. That's why when people say they want socialized medicine, you're a freaking idiot. Socialized medicine means forced vaccines, forced uh, euthanasia of you when you're old and sick. No right. innovative They're out there care. supporting the old, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the Hitler, uh, you know. I call uh, it Eugenicare. Eugenicare, do you like that? Whole Rockefeller network of genocide. Yeah, yeah. Eugenicare. In other words, hang no medicine at the speed of light and advanced health care like I provide is against the law and they'll jail or kill you, Doc. Try to kill me if I know what it's like. You'd be better off having the devil after you than Deagle. Don't try it. It'll be bad for you. I'll arrange for an appointment to see your maker. Which is most appropriate because...